So this is our little tree. And I'm going to make a cute little kind of like a display with this tree. Okay. I am going to be using napkins to, um, to decorate it with because, you know, I love napkins. I'm passionate about napkins. There's such an easy way to transform and create things and give things pretty color and pattern and theme and all of those things. Right. So I kind of picked out, I kind of have a, a, a variety here that I've picked out that I think coordinate really well, that I think might look really cute on my tree. Now, remember, we're going to make this into a display. So keep that in mind as we're crafting. And I'm going to show you kind of at the end how this all turns out. Okay, how we turn it into a display. And I think you're going to like it, meaning you can display something on it. Okay, yeah, it's going to be really fun. So this little tree is a December deal. And I'm going to tell you right now, one of you is going to win one of these trees. And not only are when you order this tree today, I'm giving you a Christmas present. I'm going to throw in the napkins that I use with the tree. OK, to, while supplies last. <laughs> OK, we've got quite a few of these medium trees in stock. This medium shiplap tree. They're just adorable. They're gorgeous. So if you do order one um, on our December deal today, I'm throwing in the napkins. I'm throwing in the napkins uh, and you can use those if you choose to or use them on other projects, whatever you would like to do. OK, so that's your little Christmas bonus this morning. Plus, one of you commenters is going to win. We're going to do a live drawing at the end of this craft. OK, so you guys ready? I'm going to roll up my sleeves here. I wore my cute new shirt and I don't want to get paint on it. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling up my sleeves. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to do, you're welcome, you're welcome. All right, doesn't it look good? Don't all these look good together? Now, I may not use all of these, but I'm going to send you all of these um, because I think if you wanted to, this little display could look really cute in a kitchen. And if it was in a kitchen, you might want to use this napkin. Um, if it's not going to be in a kitchen, you might want to use this napkin. So, you know, I'm just giving you some variety here um, for creating this project. Okay, so I'm going to scoot our napkins out of the way for a moment and we're going to paint to start. Okay, we're going to paint. So are you guys ready to start this Christmas craft and chat project? Are you ready? <laughs> Let me know if you're ready. Yeah, it's going to be a cute one. So we are going to need some paint today, but only um, white, just white. Um, and this could be, I'm using Simplicity out of our shop, um, the Country Chic paints that we carry. I'm using Simplicity. However, you could use um, whatever color you want, right? Um, what I'm sorry, not whatever color. You still need to use white, but it could be a variation of white. If you want it to your, your tree to look a little more vintagey, you could go more cream, okay? Um, the creams that we have, we have cheesecake and then we have vanilla frosting, which is kind of in between those two. It's like a warm white. So just make sure it's some form of white or light color because we don't want anything distorting um, or, or causing the, the colors in our napkins to alter, to change. We're going to use that top napkin tissue. So whatever color we put here is going to kind of show through. So I'm going with just good old pure white. You don't, mine is a chalk and mineral based paint, but you don't have to use that. You could just use a white craft paint. Okay. All right. Let's get some paint going on this. And I'm not going to worry too much about uh, the sides. I may paint them at the, at the end, or I may add, you know, some ink or something around the edges. I'm not sure just yet. So I'm just going to paint over to start. I'm just going to paint over the top of this with white. Okay. White paint. Do you want to paint the star? I probably will just dry brush the edges. That way I don't have to worry about it. So let's just kind of do that as we go. Here we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I got a little string in there from something. Okay. Just kind of a dry brush on the edges. Good way to clean the excess paint out of your brush. And this will more than likely just need one, one coat of the paint I'm using. 
So if you're using a craft paint, like an acrylic paint, you're just going to have to watch how the wood soaks up the paint. And if you need to, I want you to just add another coat. Okay. And this doesn't have to be a pretty coat because it's just kind of a primer for our piece. We just want white showing behind um, our napkin art. I think y'all are going to like this. We do have another um, project with the large tree. It is a kit, um, but it's much more involved. <laughs> a lot more techniques, a lot more pieces. But today's this little medium shiplap tree is going to be quick, easy, and cute. Cute, quick, and easy. That's what we need um, as a December 25th, you know, comes closer <laughs> as every day we get closer to it right all right let me just get a little more paint on here should have used a bigger brush bigger brushes paint faster have you noticed that <laughs> You just found the wooden house I bought from last year made to realize. Oh, the Christmas house with the shingles on the roof. Yes, that's one of my favorites. I love that little kit. That is a fun one. All right. So I just need to get down here. Let me kind of dry brush the sides and I'll sit this down and paint the the little trunk here everything we're painting white okay everything gets painted white okay perfect all right so i'm gonna scoot that over and i'm going to just dry my tree you saw how fast that was it's not going to take you any time you want to paint, you could paint the back too. I would probably, um, especially, you know, if you're gifting it or if you're going to put it like on an easel or if you're going to make it stand, you know, I mean, it just depends kind of what you're going to do with it. This tree is the perfect size to put inside a wreath. You could use it in a wreath. You could put magnets behind it and put it on your fridge. <laughs> that would be so cute in the kitchen. Um, you can put little blocks down here at the base to make it stand if you want lots of things you could put a little hanger on it and hang it so yeah lots of things thank you carolyn i'm glad you like my shirt my shirt actually came from maurice's do you ever shop there i love that store all right i think we're good and dry we're good and dry now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to play around with the napkins. Okay. And again, if you just signed on, you guys, if y'all would sprinkle this out, that would just make me so merry. That would just be awesome. Also, those of you that are um, posting comments, um, your name will be put into a drawing. We're going to give away one of these uh, adorable little trees. And then as a Christmas bonus, because we're kicking off our December deals today, um, I'm going to throw in napkins if you purchase the tree today i'm going to throw in the napkins that that i'm using or the napkins i pulled to use <laughs> okay so i appreciate that i appreciate you doing that and i'm going to go ahead and change my screen here um so that you guys can see a little better what's happening here okay so i have my tree painted and i have these different napkins so my plan is to put a sec put a section right i'm going to do a section here on uh, i put a piece of napkin on each each section so i was kind of thinking about using this one at the bottom i think this looks really good i'm going to kind of line it up to where it's right underneath that little shiplap valley okay and then you can just kind of crease it if you want to Makes it easier to see where to cut. And then if we do have some excess, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Gosh, I can barely see that. 
I didn't press very hard. So I think what I'll do is cut this and then do it again. So I'm going to cut a section of this off. I like this one for the bottom. Okay. Now, um, you're going to have plenty of napkins to do more than one tree. So you'll have plenty of napkin. Um, so those of you, if you do decide to order extra trees, don't worry. These napkins will cover quite a few. So I'm just trying to decide kind of, do I want to go this way with it? I want to go this way with it. I don't think it's really going to matter. So I'm going to lay this down. All right. Okay, so I think that's going to be my bottom layer. And then, as I mentioned, this is going to be a display. So what's going to happen is I'm going to wind up, after I'm done with all of this, I'm going to put a clip up here, okay? Have you guys seen... Um, all the cute little, you know, clothespin clips and things like this. This, These actually have tacks on them, so you can push them into something. If you don't have a clothespin with a tack on it, you could just glue the clothespin in place. You could paint them, whatever you want to do, but um, it's going to be really cute. So I'm going to have a clip up here after this is done so that I can put things on display. So I've been thinking about this because I really think it could be cute to put in a kitchen. I'm going to save these two for kind of decoration here in just a moment. I think I'm going to put this one next, this pretty red in the middle. I like how that looks. And I also really like this little border. See this little border right here on this napkin? I really like that. So this one would go about right here. I'm just kind of seeing where it would. I'm going to take my fingernail right there in that um, shiplap groove. And that's going to help me know where to cut that line. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut it to about right there. And then that way I have a little bit of room to move it around. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I think I'm going to cut it almost just a, just almost too short. But that is cute. I like the little bird showing. You know what? I think I might cut... Hang on, folks. Let's see here. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to cut this part. I kind of want more trees and, and ornaments. This has an ornament, a star, this wreath. Let's see how this looks. So it's really one of those things, especially with this particular napkin, there's so many different little images and things. So I'm just trying to decide. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cute. I like this little ornament here. I like the little bird there. wonder if this should go at the top. I would see less. Okay. These are the things that Drive me crazy, but I really do like this border. Okay, I'm going to stick with the border. I was just kind of cutting just to see what I would like. And then I am kind. Of, I was kind of leaning towards words at the top. So this word napkin is all songs. It's all different Christmas songs. Rocking around the Christmas tree, 12 Days of Christmas, Jingle Bells, um, Red Nose Reindeer, all of those fun fun things. So what do you think? Do you like that? Do you like this red and then this? I kind of like that. Now, if this was going to go in a kitchen, right, um, you could totally come in here with this. But because of where these, th these uh, little cups are, I'm going to use these more like adornments or embellishments or ornaments. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with 
this. The Holy Night, the Rock and Run the Christmas Tree. Again, just trying to decide. Give yourself a little Merry Christmas. What do I want to see? Mm, this is a tricky one. Kind of like that rock rocking around the Christmas tree. But I kind of think this jingle at the top is cute. I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> All right. I think I'll cut it right here. Christmas. Okay. I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to put this right above that again, above right at that shiplap line. So I'm definitely going to have to do this one because it's kind of hard sometimes to get up in that little nook and cranny where the star is. It's this is one of those those things that sometimes you can just sit there and overthink it and eventually you just have to be like, okay, let's get this done. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. That looks good. Okay, this is where I'm going to start. I want to get these pieces on. And then we're going to come back and we're going to think about um, our star and the trunk of our tree. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to take off um, the plies to the napkins. I'm going to pour out some Mod Podge. I'm using Mod Podge Matte, which is the yellow label. And yes, thank you, Belinda, for sharing that. We are uh, kicking off our December deals today. So this tree is one of those deals. And uh, just because I'm feeling extra merry today, I'm going to throw in all of these napkins with to anybody that purchases this tree, the medium shiplap tree. Uh, I'm going to throw it in with your orders as, as long, you know, while supplies last. I always have to say that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. So I took the plies off of this. Um, I usually do that with what I call my lick and stick method. You could always just stick your finger, just the tiniest little bit of Mod Podge on the end of your finger and kind of tap your fingers together till they get sticky. Um, you could do that also to help get your napkins apart. Or some people use like a little bit of washi tape, you know, something like that. I'm going to put on a nice little coat here. And then the trick is just kind of trying to line it, everything back up. And it, if it gets a little bit off, I don't want you to worry too much because we can always come in and sand the edges. I'm going to use a plastic, some plastic wrap here to smooth this out. This is a nice smooth surface. So I'm going to use my plastic wrap here. This is actually a deli bakery sheet, but you could use any plastic wrap that you have in your kitchen or cut apart a sandwich bag or something to use for this. Just it gives us a really nice release. And by pressing down, it kind of forces the Mod Podge kind of up through the napkin. So we're going to be really careful when we peel this back. And then I usually set those aside to dry it. And then once they're dry, I can uh, reuse them or I can use a portion of it that doesn't have any wet Mod Podge on it. All right. So this, I just want to be sure. Okay. I'm good with my little shiplap valley right there. And a little bit heavy right here. Let me trim this just a little bit. There we go. Yes, this is the medium, and it's great because it's not super big. 
it could go lots of places. I think it would, it, you know, um, this size really looks great, even if you wanted to add it into a wreath. Um, if you want to put magnets on it and put it on the fridge, if you want to, to even put little blocks at the bottom so it will stand or put, put it on an easel. Um, you could even display it on a canvas if you wanted to. So many things. All right, let's get that piece down. Very cute, cute, cute. I like the little border on this. That's cute. Now we're going to keep going and then we'll dry it and we'll sand all of this off at the end. Okay. Do you like how it's looking so far? That's okay, Jill. No problem. The replay will be right here. Okay, now let's get this part on. Perfect. Quick and easy project. Okay, now while I have it out here, we need to kind of make a decision about the star and the trunk of the tree. So it's it's one of those things where, you know, if we wanted to, maybe we even put, you know, some words down here at the bottom. That Santa Claus right there is kind of cute. Silent Night, that's cute. So I think I'm going to do words at the bottom of mine. And then I was thinking about either the plaid, this check, kind of check plaid um, napkin, or maybe this one on the red. I'm sorry, on the star. You guys, it's 12 days till Christmas, and we have been working nonstop, and I feel like my brain is kind of fried. <laughs> So I may, wrong words may just happen to pop out of my mouth. I don't know. Okay. Here, that's cute. So I'm going to put words down here. Just taking my finger fingernail through that little shiplap valley. And then, what do you think? Don't you think maybe the red up here? I was kind of leaning towards the red. Now, remember, I still have these two, but I was going to, I was thinking about these. I'm going to, well, I'll share about those here in just a minute. So, look, uh, maybe we, I don't think it's really going to matter what's up here because I also have this gold star. Um, these gold stars were at Hobby Lobby. This is kind of a, um, I guess, a medium size, but look, you guys. Look how perfectly it fits. I'm just going to snap off that top portion. So if you did want to adorn um, something different, I think I might do the plaid, though, because the red is pretty prominent. Let's just see what this would look like. We'll have to kind of envision it. If we can kind of envision it with the start with the, I don't know, what do y'all think? Plaid or red? Hmm. Or just green with a Christmas tree. That's not a bad idea either. Um, and then if you didn't have a star, at least you'd have a, a tree, right? Okay, that's pretty cute, you guys. 
So you could leave it white. We could just leave it white and put a star up there. Or we could put a little Christmas tree up there in the top. That is cute too. Right? What do we think? <laughs> I think the red looks best under the star. So if you were going to use the star, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the red. But I do think the tree could be cute. So if you did want to put a tree up there, if you didn't have a star, I think you could totally do that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the red. I'm not going to worry too much about like what's actually on here um, because the star is going to cover up a lot of this. Now, stars are tricky. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually, and I think this is a symmetrical star. Yes, it is. Okay, so if it's a symmetrical star, I'm going to turn it like this, which it is. Okay, so I'm going to turn it. And then I'm going to take, you can take a pen or something, whatever you have. And we're going to trace around. And I'm on the back, the back plies of my napkin. Or if it's easier, you, if you'd rather do it on the front uh, plies, uh, make sure you're using a friction pen like I am because this disappears with heat. Okay, um, Jenny, what we're what we have going on is we have a special uh, December deals uh, page. So let me post the link in here really quickly. And the trees are part one of those deals. So let me post it in the comments here real fast. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to post the link in the comments. It's also up in the description on this post. And this is where you can find uh, some of our December deals. Let's see if it's going to come up. There it goes. Okay, so when you click on that link, um, you'll find them. That's where they will be. Okay, thank you for asking. Okay. So now I'm going to pull this out. I just traced it. Now I did trace those two little bottom lines, but you can't really get into this part. So we're going to have to just kind of float those in, just kind of keep going up until they meet. Okay. And now we can cut this out and we don't have to worry about trying to, um, if we do go a little bit over the edge, we'll just sand it. But and we'll know that, you know, it's going to fit okay. Because I think I want to use this gold star. It's just like perfect. It just fits perfectly. Um, hmm. Do I have enough gold stars? I'll have to see. I was trying to think if I have enough gold stars to throw in a gold star for you too. I'll look and see. I can make no promises about the stars, but I can promise you all the napkins. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get our star on. A couple plies here. Going to make sure we get those plies off. Otherwise, our napkin will lift off. And the part that lifts off is the part we really want to keep. Okay. So I can move this around kind of any which way. So let me think. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Just a very fun, easy, quick and cute project. Uh, I'm not doing any kind of pin work or anything on this project. I might add some sparkle just because I love for Christmas projects to sparkle. And of course, everybody's style is a little different. So you may decide to um, do yours up a little differently. It's totally fine. You do it however you want to. Okay. I think I actually got that really well. I don't think I'm going to have to, I might have to sand this little piece right there. Okay, not bad. All right, so next thing we're going to do, 
is just dry everything. We want to make sure it's really dry before we try to sand off any of the excess napkin. Your napkins are they're at their most fragile when they're wet, okay? So that's why I like to dry it before I sand it. I don't want anything to pull or tear. This is super cute. This is so cute. All right. You can um, just sand it away with a simple piece of sandpaper. Or if you have a, um, a little sanding file, even an emery board, the, the top of the tissue, the tissue is really thin, you guys. So it's not going to be hard to, to sand off at all. So the main thing is just getting your, I kind of like sandpaper on these or a little sanding file because you do have to kind of get up in that little corner right here. Get that little piece. There we go. That piece. And I'm just going to work my way down. Thank you so much for coming on and watching today. I hope that you're enjoying all of the Christmas craft and chats been so much fun. Oops, got one little piece right there. And now I'll just sand around. My truck. So cute, you guys. Isn't it cute? Let me raise this up just a little bit. I think it's a darling. I like this color combo. I think it's really, really cute. Okay, so before we move on, I want to talk to you about these two napkins. As I mentioned, if you were going to put this little display, we are going to turn it into a display, and I'll tell you what kind of things you could display on it here in a minute. If you wanted to put it in your, in your kitchen or somewhere, I think this would be really cute. Or your, maybe on your desk at work or um, in your craft room. I don't know. But I think these are just so cute. And you could use these as kind of embellishments to put on the tree. And if you're not into uh, the cute cocoa cups, coffee cups, whatever you want to imagine those as, you could just come in with these trees. I think these trees are so cute. And you could also possibly do a little bit of both. So let me give you some ideas here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one right along here just to narrow uh, this down. So if I really did like these trees, right, if I really loved these trees, I'm simply going to cut a few of them. Here, I'm using my wrong scissors. Let's use my good scissors. Okay, there's one. There's one. Let's see. Let's find a different looking one. This one. So you could either turn these into like maybe little tags or you just simply kind of uh, bubble cut kind of around them. And we're going to turn them into like little adornments, right? Little um, embellishments, little, you might even think of them as an ornament. And this is completely optional, by the way. <laughs> this is for those of you that want to kind of level it up a little bit. You want to up level. So do you see what I mean? Like you might decide you want to have a Christmas tree right here in the center. Maybe you want to add a Christmas tree down here. I'm just going to kind of lay these out, right? Like maybe you want to do something kind of like that. So you could add in little Christmas trees if you want. Um, I think that that could be really cute. Or you can add in the mugs. I think the mugs are just 
so adorable. And I think I'm going to add some mugs on mine. But I'm giving you the trees too, so that way you have an option. You might even want trees to be, like you could divide some of these up, right? You might want a little section of trees somewhere within your tree. <laughs> so you could have fun with these in lots of ways. Okay, so let's cut a few of these. And I'm going to show you how I would put these on. And, and again, this is just kind of a, this is an extra. Do you have to do this? No. You could use these as sections of your tree. I'm just kind of bubble cutting around, okay? What does that mean? Bubble cutting, loose fussy cutting means I have a border around it. Do you see the little green border? Right, it's got the little border around it. We're gonna keep that border. And I'm gonna think where I wanna put these. I'm gonna kind of put them to the, to the outside edges because if I do have something on display, I want to make sure it's going to show. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. I love this one with the little snowman. He's a cute cup. They're all cute. It's going to be hard to decide. Now, this one has a little swirly going up. I could just add that with a pin. I'm not going to try to cut around that. So I could maybe put a green one over. Actually, I kind of want to cover up this horse end right there, that horse tail. So I think I might do it more like this, this, and let's see. We need one more for up here. Um, I'm going to go back to red. This has some hot cocoa and marshmallows. And then this could just come up here somewhere, maybe even at the top, maybe even right there at the tip top. <laughs> okay, so these little things, you can just kind of put them wherever you want. Now you do have to know that when you separate these out, let me just do this real quick, that um, whatever's behind them is going to show through, okay? So if you're not okay with that, if you want to not have to see that too much, if you want your, your um, mugs or your trees, whatever you're using, this is typically what I do. You can trace around it. You can trace around the image, but I can pretty much see where this Im where this is going to go. I'm just going to dip my. Uh, I'm just going to put in just a little bit of paint, just from the lid. This is just white paint, so that I can kind of mute this little area where my cup's going to be. Okay. All right, and it doesn't have to be exact. Whoops. You guys, can you guys still hear me? Because, of course, today the um, our lawn people are here. <laughs> so there's, I'm hearing lots of noise from leaf blowers and mowers and things like that. So again, just a little bit kind of where it's going to go. You don't have to do the whole area. Just want to kind of brighten it up a little bit. We're behind where it's going to be. Can you guys hear me okay? I'll speak up. <laughs> They're literally right outside my window right now. And this one I'm going to keep over here. So you can, if you feel better tracing them out, you can. Usually, I just kind of eyeball it. Okay, I want to make sure my paint is dry.
kind of thinking now I might want this one up at the top. Okay, so paint is dry. Sorry, hopefully they'll plast in just a moment. <laughs> so this could be the mugs or the trees, or it could be nothing at all. It's really cute, just like it is. So I'm going to stick this little mug right there. Be careful not to stick your... Uh, Mod Podge brush into your white paint. Speaking from experience. So I'm going to keep these kind of to the edge. I need a little bit more Mod Podge right there. And one more. Where did it go? Oh, right here. Okay, let's smooth these down. And then after we smooth these, we're going to dry them, make sure they're dry, and then we're going to do a top coat. I'm just going to put three on. Obviously, you could put them all over if you wanted to. But I think this is going to be so cute in my kitchen or anywhere, wherever you want it to be. That's really cute. Let me dry it and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. I like the little, I'm okay if a little bit of it shows through, a little bit of the white. Um, if that bothers you, that's a great place where you can go in and add some pen work. To me, it almost just looks like a... a Oh, like a highlight. I got a little tiny spot right here. I thought I put Mod Podge there, but maybe I didn't put get it quite where it needs to be. Okay. So you can see there. So this is where see there's a little bit of white paint showing kind of right in here show you what we can do with that because I'm probably going to stickle these and have some fun with them. So uh, I'm not going to decoupage anything else. Once you're done um, adding whatever napkin embellishments that you want to add, then we're going to come in and we're just going to put on a nice top coat. You guys remember this is just tissue. We want to make sure that it's plenty um, protected, right? This is going to help seal our napkins and protect our napkins. That's important. I don't want to make things that are going to get ruined. I want to make things that are going to last for ever and ever. And then if you did, again, this is kind of a leveling up. If you did want to add some pen work around your cocoa cups, coffee cups, mugs, trees, you could. Or you could just add some sparkle to them. And then that white that's kind of around them, it really just kind of looks more like a, almost like a shadow or a highlight. Okay. So... We're just about done. I'm going to show you. We're going to talk about the clip, and then I'm going to add a little fun at the bottom. So let me get this dry. I love collaging napkins, too. I love layering them up. I mean, and if you guys, um, if you're not in the napkin club and you're interested in learning more about decorating with napkins, um, this is just a drop in the bucket. There's so many things that we can do with napkin art. And after Christmas, on December 27th through December 30th, we're going to have something called Create and Connect um, all week. We're gonna be go I'm going to be going live. I think it's like three times a day featuring my different groups. One of them will be the Napkin Club. And uh, we're going to be doing prize giveaways, grand prize giveaways, all kinds of fun after Christmas. 
and we'll have open enrollment at that time. So our doors will be open to all of our, our subscription groups. So if you're kind of interested in maybe doing something new in the new year, trying something new, I'd love to teach you more about um, napkin art and, um, and send you beautiful napkins every single month. <laughs> okay. I think that looks so good. Now realize you're going to have a lot of napkin left. So this would be a great project. If you do decide you want to do multiples, you're going to have plenty of napkins, plenty of, of napkin pattern and print because I'm sending you a full napkin of each. Okay. So now that this is dry, if you did want to come back in and do any kind of pin work, you could. Okay. And you would want to make sure you're doing that with a waterproof, steadfast pin like a pit pen, but I'm not going to, because remember I, I told you this was about being quick, easy, and cute. Okay, quick, easy, and cute. So let's go ahead and kind of embellish this guy. Let's get it all fixed up. So if you, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are lots of cute little clothespins out there, different colors. Here's a green one, here's a white one. Of course, there are natural colored ones if you wanted to paint them yourself or just leave them natural. The ones I'm using actually have a tack behind them. You can find them, they're made for like uh, cork boards and things like that. You could either glue a tack on yourself or you could just, just uh, glue the clothespin directly to your tree. And there's a couple different ways we can do this. The reason, I want to make this as a display is because look how cute this is. If this is in my kitchen, right? If this was in my kitchen, I could have maybe my clip right here. I could also have my clip at the bottom and I kind of like the clip at the bottom. Um, I could clip up a recipe card, right? Um, I could clip up a Christmas photo. I love my, my kids are really good about sending, about taking Christmas photos and doing like photo cards or, um, you know, just things like that. But if I wanted to, to just clip up a cute Christmas photo, I could. And then what about a card? Like this is, this is just a simple um, card. This is just a handmade card. Um, I threw this together really quick um, before we went live. And same thing here, right? I could totally come in and clip up maybe even a cute Christmas card if I wanted to. All right. Maybe a cute Christmas tag, whatever it is. It's kind of fun because I can add this down here to actually clip it this way instead of this way. OK, if you're going to clip up like a photo, you may have to put a little bit of cardstock behind it. It just depends. Um, and this is just good for for smaller things, right? Just something really cute that you could clip up. Again, I think um, um, Christmas cards, photos, recipe cards um, just would be so, so cute, right? Be super cute. So because we have this tack on the back, I'm going to be able, I don't actually have to glue mine unless I want to put some glue behind it. And I was trying to decide what color. This green is a little bit brighter than I want it to be. I think I'm just going to use the white. So I'm going to put this clip Hmm. What would y'all do? Would you go at the top or the bottom? Let me see. I really like the idea of putting it at the bottom. I'm going to put mine at the bottom, but honestly, I think you could put yours wherever you want. Okay, so I'm going to come down here right about here. I'm just going to kind of figure out where the center is of my trunk. And this wood is soft enough that you can just kind of push down right into the wood. If this is hard for you, maybe ask somebody else to do it. Or like I said, you could just glue your clothespin in place. And let me see how we're doing here on the back. Okay, I haven't pressed it all the way through, but it's in there nice and tight. So if your tack comes all the way through your project, I would just take, and by the way, I would finish out the back. You have plenty of napkin if you want to cover the back in one whole napkin or just paint it. Um, I would take probably your good um, wire cutters or whatever, and just, if that tack comes through the back, just snip it, snip off the point. Let's see if I can get it mine down a little bit more. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, you guys. Okay, so now my little clip's on. 
you can add some extra glue. Again, this could just be glued on. Okay, it could just simply be glued on. Now, remember, I have my um, I have my star, little star embellishment. So if you have anything, and I'm just gonna snap this little ring off. If you have anything that you want to put on to your cute little display tree. And I'm kind of thinking I want a little bit of ribbon down here. Nothing really big. Maybe this is how I keep my ribbon, y'all, on ribbon cards like this. We're going to talk in 2024 a lot about organization on some of the crafting chats and things. So that's something you need in your life. Uh, make sure you're following my page. <laughs> We're going to get ourselves in order because that will uh, help us to have so much better of a crafting experience. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bow down here, nothing much, nothing much, just a little, a little bow. And I think I'm gonna tie it off with this green twine. Got some green twine here. So I don't usually knot my bows. I tie them off. Just so much easier. And then you don't get that big, big, you know, big clunky knot from the ribbon. Tie this off in a double knot. Yes, I'm going to put it right there underneath the base of this. I'm going to go ahead and tie another bow out of the twine real quickly here. Cute, cute, cute. And I'm going to tie knots in my tails. Okay, I'm just going to put this part on with hot glue. So I'm actually going to put it on a little above um, above the tree trunk, right below the clothespin. Stick my fingers in the loops and kind of make sure my bow is grabbing well. Oh my goodness, that is so cute, you guys. Look how sweet. And then I'm going to glue my star on. Now I've got this really sparkly star up here, right? I've got this really pretty sparkly star, right? So I kind of feel like I need some gold somewhere else. So I have, I still have some of these little glitter pebbles. I um, also have this little peppermint if you wanted to maybe, especially if it's going in a kitchen, maybe you would rather have a peppermint at the top, right? <laughs> if it's going to go in a kitchen or something. I'm going to take some of these little glitter balls right here, like three of them, and I'm going to nestle these into my bow because this just kind of like, just kind of push the three together. Let's see if three will be enough just to add some sparkle down here. Yeah, three is perfect. And that way I have some sparkle down here and I have some sparkle up here. And I've got my little clip there so I can clip up um, whether it be um, a card, a photo. This card's a little bit big for this. So it could be um, a photo, a recipe, uh, maybe even a cute Christmas tag. 
whatever you want to put on it. And I think that's so cute. What do you guys think? Do you like this? If you would prefer your, your um, clothespin go at the top, it could easily go at the top too. I kind of like mine at the bottom though. So again, I think this is really darling. All right, really darling. So this is this tree is the medium shiplap tree and it is part of our December deals that start today. I just posted a link in the comments here. Um, so you guys can go in and um, shop away. If you do order the medium tree today, I'm going to throw in the napkins. We're going to put the napkins into your shipment with your tree. Um, and like I said, if you decide to get multiple, there's plenty of napkins here. Plenty, plenty, plenty. A little ball rolled forward. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. <laughs> there's plenty in here to do multiple trees if you wanted to. So I think this was a really fun project today. The only thing left to do for me is add sparkle. I'm definitely going to add some sparkle onto different parts of my tree, to my cups, um, my little mugs and things. Um, because I like Christmas projects to sparkle and then that's pretty much it for me. That's pretty much it. So that would mean just coming in and I'm using stickles for this. So anything that I want to, to sparkle and I kind of want these cups to really sparkle. You can outline them. Uh, let's see, this one has a cute little, you can kind of see the sparkle on there. Isn't that cute? So this is where you can kind of fudge a little bit with your um, um, paint. If some of your paint came out, you can kind of outline your cup. I'm going to put some sparkle on these marshmallows. And then sparkle here, sparkle the snowman, right? So cute. <laughs> And I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm done. Uh, again, you could put a hanger on the back of this and hang it. If you wanted to put it on, uh, you could add some magnets on the back. If you want to put it in your kitchen, put it on the fridge. If you want to stand it up in an easel, you could. If you want to mount it on a canvas, if you want to put it in a wreath. <laughs> if you want to put a little block or something back here behind the, uh, the trunk, so it will stand, you could do that too. So it's really just a cute, fun, simple project that you can make in no time at all. And if you are gonna make more than one, just do all your cuts, do it assembly line style, right? Like get all your napkin pieces um, um, cut, get them all cut, and then just do all the mod, all the painting at one time, then all the Mod Podge at one time, and, um, and then all the kind of embellishing at one time. And then before you know it, you'll you'll be done. <laughs> okay, let's look at it over here. I want you to see it over here. Really cute. The star was so fun. It just fits perfectly. And um, kept my mugs kind of to the outside area. If you wanted to add more, obviously you could. But I just have to keep in mind that, um, you know, I am going to display something on this tree. And I'm kind of leaning towards, if I keep this in my kitchen, I think I'm going to put my favorite um, Christmas cookie recipe. Or I actually have a really great, I have a family recipe for hot cocoa. So maybe I'll put that on there. Because we definitely want to make some of that um, coming up for the winter season. Okay. Okay.